As soon as I found out the story behind the name of this place, I knew I just had to showcase it in a video. This is Riker Memorial Spaceport, the main landing and departure area for Area 18 on the planet Artcorp in the Stanton system. Whilst the area is a couple of years old at the time of recording, it still serves to show just how great Star Citizen can look. Whatever your take on the whole Star Citizen in alpha testing debate, I hope you'd agree, this game can be incredibly beautiful. And in this video series, we'll celebrate that, whilst hopefully providing you with some interesting locations that you might like to go out and explore. I'm Farrister, and this video will be a location spotlight on the Riker Memorial Spaceport in Star Citizen. Aside from the obvious beauty shots throughout, this video will also cover the spaceport's position in the universe, background lore, as well as some of the services on offer. You'll find the Riker Memorial Spaceport in the Stanton system, on the planet of Artcorp. You might be forgiven for thinking that this world covered with cities is reminiscent of Coruscant. The spaceport itself is in Area 18, which is the main hub for player activity on the planet. It can be quite hard to spot, especially at night, so look for the area with the fewest skyscrapers. There's also a nice red motif to the area, and somewhat interestingly, a highway thoroughfare running straight through the centre, almost like Schiphol Airport in Amsterdam. The atmosphere is breathable, the temperature is temperate, and the gravity is normal, so for all intents and purposes, this could feel a lot like an Earth-like planet. Inside the spaceport you'll find various decorations, such as travel boards and various seating areas. The tram ride on the way in is also notable, especially if you're a big fan of Blade Runner or Fifth Element styles. And if you're a big fan of tram rides, it'd be a real help to me if you were to press that like button on the video, as it tells YouTube that this video is worth showing to other people. The story behind the name of the Riker Memorial Spaceport is truly touching, however. According to a series of tweets by a German Star Citizen fan, the spaceport is named after veteran backer Sean Riker, who sadly passed away before seeing the game he was so passionate about finished. After hearing about the sad news through his org and via a German Facebook group, the Star Citizen team named this the Riker Memorial Spaceport to commemorate Sean Riker as part of the game he helped to support, which I think is a really touching gesture. In-game, the spaceport is operated by Arcorp, who own the entire planet. You'll unlikely recognise the corporation name as they run a lot of mining stations across the Stanton system, but are also supposedly famed for their fusion engines. The spaceport itself offers a number of services to travellers passing through. As a ship's spawn location, there are terminals and a number of hangar bays of different sizes for arrivals and departures. If you've overstayed your welcome, there are also booths for paying fines. Hopefully, you'll not need to use them. And the spaceport also offers a ship rental service, just in case you're in need of transport back to the main thoroughfares. It's been a few weeks since the last Location Spotlight video on the channel, so if you are enjoying the series, please share in the comments. It really helps me to know what you like to watch on the channel. And if you're new to the channel, you may want to subscribe to be notified of future videos as they go live. Otherwise, as always, thank you for watching.